In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the front panel connectors of the desktop tower unit to the motherboard. And this is what the connectors look like coming from the desktop tower unit. So there's the desktop and there's the connectors. So you have hard drive LED light, power switch, reset switch, speaker and power light. I'm just going to show you now what they relate to in the front of the desktop. So there's your power switch and power light. There's your reset switch. The two USB connectors and the audio speaker and headphones. And there's also a speaker in there. And the front panel connectors will be connecting our hair drive LED light power switch, reset switch, speaker and power LED light. USB front panel connector and audio for the front panel. So here are the connectors for the hard drive LED light. Power switch reset switch and speaker and I will show you the power light connection in a separate clip because the desktop tower unit connectors I am installing here do not have a front panel power light you should always consult your motherboard user guide when making any connections to a motherboard. It gives you the details that you need in order to make these connections. So make sure you check the user guide. So here's what the page would look like for the front panel. So you have your power light LED, you have your hard drive LED light, you have your power switch, you have your reset switch, and you have your speaker. Now every motherboard is different with these connections and so are the tower units, the desktop tower units. So make sure you consult this page on your user guide. Now let's connect some of these front panel cables. On this motherboard they are color coded and this would be explained in your user guide. And the first one is the power switch on the front of your desktop tower unit. So this is the cable that goes from the power switch that's on the front of your computer and it is connected to your motherboard via this connection here. So that's how it plugs in there. So as explained in the user guide, there's a positive and a negative side. And in this case, the green one is the positive. So it goes into the positive side and the negative is the black. And here's the second one now, the reset switch. Again, positive, negative, make sure it's going in right. Positive is the white in this case. And the next one here is the hard drive LED light. And that has the positive and negative actual signs on the connector. So you can see that there, there's a little arrow showing the, the positive side of the of the, the connector. And then you just pop it down, positive, negative, to positive and negative on the board. And here's your speaker. Again, positive and negative printed on the connector, the black connector there. And that goes they can actually go in in opposite directions, so be careful, make sure that it's positive, negative. Positive to positive, negative to negative. So in that case, in the speaker, the yellow one is the positive. Now, these positive and negative signs are also printed on the motherboard. So you can see them there beside, say, the likes of the speaker. You can see one side of the speaker, the actual word on the motherboard on the motherboard 
has a plus sign and then at the end of speak it says minus so that's the negative sign so as i said earlier make sure you consult your user manual and you'll get the information you need on that okay Now, I'm going to show you how to match up the motherboard and the user guide description because this is what you will have to do yourself. So, I'm going to start with the reset switch, then move on to the power switch, and then the LED light, power light, and the hard drive light. So matching the description in the user guide, there's the reset switch and just take it out and put it back in just to show you. So the orange one there is the positive and there's the power switch already plugged in. Now here's the power light for the front panel. Now these are just two separate little connections. So the power light LED LED light uh, that's the plus one there going in there and here's the negative minus sign on it plug that guy in to that pin there now and the last one is the hair drive LED light that's the guy that flashes in the front here your your desktop tower unit so that's it and there's no speaker in this one in this front panel so you, you don't have one to connect the next connection we will make is the front panel USB ports and here is the connector now this connector is keyed so you can only plug it in correctly one way Nine holes in the connector, as shown here, correspond with nine pins in the motherboard header. There's the header. And there's the nine pins. You will have to check in your motherboard user guide to find out where these headers are in your motherboard. You can, on this board, connect the USB connectors to any one of the three headers shown here. But your board will be different. It may only have one or two headers. So check in your motherboard user guide. So we'll connect it now. So match up nine holes on the connector to nine pins in the header. Now, the last one we're going to do is the audio, and it is keyed. So there's the nine pins, nine holes rather, that will match up with pins in the header. I'll just show you the header now. So there's the header, F audio, so it's front panel audio. Now you just match up the holes in the connector with the pins in the header. And just push it down then. And that's all the front panel connectors for your motherboard. If you have any questions about any of these connectors or anything else to do with the motherboard, give me a shout here at Computer help made easy.